If you're someone who's been juggling multiple financial accounts and trying to find a sleek, reliable way to manage it all, then MoneyWiz might be exactly what you're looking for. Or, depending on your comfort with complexity, maybe not. After using MoneyWiz for a few weeks, I've developed a real appreciation for what it does well, even as I've stumbled over a few of its shortcomings. Right out of the gate, what drew me in was how beautifully MoneyWiz integrates across devices. I'm a Mac user, and the design is exactly what you'd expect from something that caters to the Apple crowd. Minimal, clean, intuitive. But what's even better is how effortlessly it syncs between my MacBook, iPhone, and iPad. I can check my spending in real time from any of them, and it all stays up to date thanks to the live sync feature. That's a game changer when you're sharing financial responsibilities with a partner or just want to stay on top of things without always pulling out your laptop. Setting it up wasn't hard, though I'll admit the number of features is a little intimidating at first. There are literally hundreds, 400 to be exact. So if you're just stepping into the world of budgeting tools, it might feel like too much. But if you give yourself some time to get familiar with the interface, it starts to make sense. I liked being able to customize my budgeting categories and tailor the whole thing to fit my financial habit. Plus, manually entering transactions or importing them is simple, and the reconciliation feature makes it really easy to keep everything accurate. One downside I ran into was that MoneyWiz doesn't support f That was a little disappointing, especially since I like to see everything in one place, and retirement planning is a big part of my long-term goals. If you're in a similar boat, that might be a sticking point. Another thing worth noting is that it isn't the cheapest app out there. The standard subscription costs $19.99 per year. But if you want premium features like bank sync for more countries, cryptocurrencies, and advanced reports, you're looking at $49. Compared to free tools like Mint or some of the cheaper alternatives, that's not nothing. That said, you do get a lot for what you pay. The reports section is excellent. I was able to break down my spending into charts and graphs that actually helped me understand where my money was going. I found this especially useful when I was trying to cut down on discretionary spending. It's much easier to face your habits when they're displayed in a tidy, colorful graph. Speed-wise, I had no real complaints. Syncing was fast, switching between categories was smooth, and I didn't experience any lag. That said, I did encounter a couple of minor bugs. Nothing that crashed the app but enough to be noticeable. Thankfully, the help section on their website is well organized and broken down by device, which made it easy to find quick solutions. In the end, I'd say MoneyWiz is a strong choice for tech-savvy users who want a fully featured, visually appealing financial tool. It's especially ideal if you live in the Apple ecosystem and want seamless syncing across your devices. But if you're new to budgeting software or looking for something more straightforward and affordable, you might want to explore simpler options first. MoneyWiz offers a lot, but it asks for your attention and your money in return. If you're willing to give both, the payoff is a powerful, customizable way to keep your finances under control.